Well, tonight should be interesting because uh, we're trying out a new show. There's a bunch of new ideas that we're trying for the first time tonight. And so hopefully we won't fail miserably. <laughs> but I mean, even if we fail miserably, at least it'll be an interesting, you know, interesting disaster. Funky. It's like turds. Stage faithfully, then I'll execute. Whoa! I will execute. Don't fire on the ground! Check everyone but Obama! Thank you. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. Usually I only put it on when I run, you know, because I like the okay. feeling, you know, it's like so fresh. I mean, I usually try to chew like a spearmint or like a peppermint gum as well and just get, you know, the full experience. Some things just got to be the way they got to be. <laughs> and that's how I like to live, you know. Uh, I'm in Amsterdam right now, I don't know. Uh, dick their thighs, uh, dick their in thighs. <laughs> I like dick that thigh right there, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we can do it soft or
want to try to do a push up. Did he ever turn up with that? Or two. I'm gonna take best of the other bar. I think you're gonna be able to do three. Four? Have you ever done that? Real push ups? Yeah, like this, yeah. this yeah. up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I just did uh, 20 of these. Yeah. Dudes, I got down. I got down real quick. I bet you can do more than both of you. I can barely do two. Jamie, you got 10. I know. Three. You gotta turn your wrist up. Four. There you go. I really can't do more than You can do it, dude. Five. 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 Yeah, I'm going halfway there. Halfway there. I never, you know, I can't really predict what's gonna happen. That's the exciting part of the show. It's like you never really know. I mean, like you have like a kind of a rough idea, mm -hmm. a rough sketch of what you want to do, but you don't really know what's gonna happen until it's all over. It hurts me. <laughs> Push the it's thumb pivot. in. Like Ow, it hurts like a bitch. No, but look, Kevin. Okay. Son of a bitch. Kevin. Power. Fucking yeah, amateurs. What are you going to do? <laughs> this is like me trying to do 10 push-ups. Remember when I did the 10 push-ups? It was like, go, go, go. Well, this is me trying to encourage you. Get that beer bottle cap off. I did it. So next time you guys in Europe, hey, have a good one. Peace, man. Yeah. Yeah. Have a safe trip tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. To yeah. Brussels. Get some sleep. Yeah, get some sleep. Good luck. Exactly. <laughs> sure, it's gonna be comfy. Yeah. It was so nice to just be around people, like in their house. Yeah. Because so many times we're stuck and we go to a hotel or <clears throat> leave the venue after everyone's gone. And tonight we actually got to hang out with real people that live in this town and people who are visiting this town and hang out and talk to them. And God, that was such a relief. I'm just really sick of feeling like we do these anonymous shows where it's just like show up and do the thing and then leave and have no idea about the people that were there or the city or the venue or the anything. What does it mean when your mascara burns your own eyes? It's time to get a new one? Yeah, maybe. Keep it out of your eyes. But really it's not physically, it's more of an endurance thing and like adrenaline thing, so it's kind of foreign to like have that much adrenaline. The ninjas at least come from a lifelong obsession with superheroes and comic books, so that one feels familiar. But all of them are semi foreign, you know. But that's what the beauty of the, like, you know, obviously it's inside of you if you're willing to do it. Fascinating.
Canada. I feel like an accidental species Some new love child never meant to be No motion dancing Feel like we're an impossibility Trying to keep the heart in the head But I was so down on the closing night Couldn't even fake a smile Wanting to fire all my We need to like cut like a slit back. Yeah, here. I know. I tried. I feel like so. No, bad no, to show, like... it's so annoying because I, <clears throat> I, it, it was your uh, left foot that was getting stuck. Yeah. And so I thought it was your left foot was getting stuck. So I ran over early to get your left foot out. Oh, but yeah. it's not your left foot. It's the second foot. Yeah, it's the second foot. The thing is, like, whatever you're doing, you know, like, it's such a freak show, it doesn't even matter, you know? Like, if someone looks like they're, like, not happy, it's just a part of the whole circus. Mm -hmm. We were in France, and now we're in no man's land on our way to England. Um, and there's a busload of teens. You want to see them? Come on. <laughs> the thing about teenagers is, even though it's 5.30 in the morning right now, they have to eat constantly, constantly. So they're growing, you know? Just fair. They're literally, they're literally just pouring out of the cafeteria as we speak. They're so hungry. What kind of comedy is this? All of the danger you've discovered. What kind of comedy is this? How can you say no? You're frightened. You labeled me in 40 tries. And in case you didn't realize, I was all in your dreams. And all I love you, I'm Anxiety, ejaculation. That's where my house used to be. Until the pterodactyls came, you can hear them. They don't like wood. And so I made it out of metal. But then I realized that I wasn't supposed to attract the pterodactyl. Because the pterodactyl doesn't like me. And it wants to hurt my house as if it was a friend of mine, which it kind of is. So now I live here on the rocks. really only live twice a week. But when I am alive, I'm living on these rocks. He runs. He runs from me a lot. I think it's kind of cute. No, I'm, I feel really lucky that, uh, that I have a daughter and not a son. Just gotta think, sons, you know, they, they always grow up to eat their fathers, you know. This is like the, the Greek story, is it? Kronos or whatever, that is like, he, has, he wants to uh, eat all of his offspring because he some like 
someone told him that you know, he better look out because Zeus is on the way. So he ate all of his children, but then the, the, his wife or whatever didn't want him to eat Zeus, so she gave him a stone and he ate the stone. <laughs> so if I had a kid, I would just have, if I had a son, I'd just have to eat him anyways, and that's just really gross. Now we live in a neighborhood where a bunch of uptight bricks call the cops on you for celebrating Obama's victory. So I'm kind of worried about this summer. I don't know what we can do. But to create some like sound cancellation devices all the way around our house. Or maybe create like a big wall and uh, keep the cops away. An electric fence, maybe. What we really want to do is like set up two walls. You know, they have one wall, and then another wall, and in between the two walls we'd have these wild animals. So if anyone tried to come into our house uninvited, they would get the claw. going through different changes and stuff and you know trying to figure my, figure things out I was uh, you know a total pain in the ass you know just like a prick like a bad a bad seat and I think that really annoyed my parents and it affected our relationship but I still needed love and support even though on the surface I was like you know a bad like wanting, I wanted to be a you know punk be a rebel or whatever and, you know, punk kids are annoying, because that's the point, <laughs> to be fucking annoying and mess with people. But I think that, you know, if you have a, a strong, loving parental figure there, you'll, you know, eventually pass through that period. And, uh, come through on the other side and you know you'll have a, a fresh understanding complexities of our responsibilities to each other.
again. After a night of heavy drinking, getting your shoe shine is so refreshing. Completely illegally dumped all the urine 
onto the street, onto the highway. Wait, it's only illegal in America. I don't know if it's illegal. Uh, that's true. Uh, that's true. Yo, and is it illegal? Uh, I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> After the rumours, did the relationship survive that, or did it did it go downhill? Well, it, it got a bit better because when I cut some people out of my life, she cut some people out of her life, and we just concentrated on our, ourselves. You know, I've got a six-year-old; she was helping me. Green and blue, Good morning, and a big, big welcome to the show. That my first guest today, Luke, says that when he first got together with girlfriend Kayla just three years ago, he knew about her reputation for sleeping around, but he tried to put his insecurities to one side and give this relationship a go. And just six months ago, Luke and Kayla went on holiday. Now, to start the night. Uh, who has the hardest job? In the band, I guess is what you asked. And I had had originally said, you know, either Dottie or Davey, because from what I know that Kevin sings off of Dottie's keyboard playing, um, adamant about the bass, the, about the bass notes, you know, because like the bass seems to be kind of like the melody and like the, the, the architecture that holds the songs together in, in a way, from what I see. Let's pretend we don't exist. Let's pretend we're in and out. Oh, hi. I'm Kevin Barnes from Ove Montreal. I use perfect push-ups before I go on stage because it gives me that cut look that I'm going for. Check me out. Perfect push-ups does it every time. Let's pretend we're in Antarctica. Let's pretend we don't exist. I need to stay moist at all times. Because if you'll know. I've been trying to get up. Speaking of staying young and fresh, Brian has this program on his phone that calls up all of the. Uh, young fresh fellows? No, all of the uh, Brian Eno's oblique strategies. And I took one right before he did the sound check. And I think that everyone should hit one and get like a, it'll give you like an inspiration, like a fortune cookie for the performance. I want to do it. Everybody should take oh, one. Do a random, right? Yeah, Thanks. like mine was don't be afraid to show your talents That's or awesome. something. And then like my favorite one is uh, value the mistake as a hidden intention.
super, super, super. Oh. <lacht> oh, danke schön. Danke schön. Perfekt. I hear what he said. No one's disputing oh, thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Super. Super. Thank you. No, 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 no. Die Mann von, von England. Von Manchester. Von der School. Ist crazy. Englishmen. All. All Englishmen. Crazy. All. Never procreate. I didn't want to tell you. Never procreate. Never procreate. Right. No, I want to procreate. One, two, three. Never procreate. Yes. Uh, no, on the count of three. Joe is the. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is that? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Oh, it feels so good to be <laughs> Nick Gold and Dolly Eichner. Oh, oh, oh. I'm satisfied. Hiding in my friend's car. Only leaving one day. To buy some groceries. Reagan loved jelly bellies, not jelly beans, okay? He was very specific about the gelatinous, sugary stuff that he ate. Is this gelatinous? It's gelatinous. It's got, um, it's got horse talk in it. Masturbation maraca. It's a penis shaka. Masturbation maraca. What are you doing in there? Nothing, Mom. Mom, nothing. Leave me alone. What's that, what's that noise? Can I do two five minutes? What is that? No, Mom. He's scaring the dog. Wait, keep talking. Dad, you're little brother. Keep talking, Mom. I'm almost there. Mom, keep talking. Say something. It's scaring the dog. <laughs> Especially when you're young, you know, it's so easy to be discouraged. Because I really feel like, like I don't <clears throat> have like a very, I have an okay voice, like a very average voice, but my mom was always so encouraging to me, like, you have such a beautiful voice, you should sing, you know, join the choir, and, and I, I really didn't. So, but like, it did encourage me to like keep going or, and like, have confidence to feel like I have a good voice, because if someone's like, you have a, you're really t tone deaf, you know, you can't sing. Because a lot of people will say that, you know, like, oh, I can't sing. And the only reason they would say that is because other people have told them they can't sing. You know? But if someone's like, oh, you got a beautiful voice, even though you couldn't sing, you had <laughs> no sense of pitch, you know? You'd keep singing because you thought people liked it and that you should do this. Advanced upper level. Fuck you, 
man. You gotta take it to the next level, <laughs> bro. Is it harder like that? No. <laughs> it's almost like outsider art in a way, you know? It's like learning ways to make it work, even though you're not like technically that great, you know? But like you figure out a way to realize these ideas that you want to put across. Especially like early on when like a Montreal wasn't popular at all, we weren't selling records really at all, and people weren't coming to the shows. You know, the thing that kind of kept me going was like knowing that David really liked it, you know, and that my small handful of friends like liked it, you know. And that's that's all you really need sometimes, you know. It's like the right people to to like what you're doing. really really only feel comfortable in gray you know like there's gotta be something wrong with you grays and browns and blacks beiges I mean look at me I'm wearing gray there's gotta be something wrong with me <laughs> It's not a mistake, I don't regret
right now.